In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the VMIS web browser and how you can be able to use it to bring in your video from YouTube and also to, from Facebook into the VMIS software along with the sound. And you can be able to stream these videos to different social media platform and you can also play it out if you have an audience that you want to play the video to. If you're just coming across this channel for the first time or you haven't subscribed, please smash that red subscribe button below and also turn on the notification bell so YouTube will notify you first whenever I upload videos like this on this channel. And if you're a returning subscriber, Thank every one of you for 5,000 subscribers. Just do me a quick favor, smash that like button so the YouTube algorithm can also recommend this video to other people on the YouTube community. And without any further ado, let's jump right into this tutorial. Now, the first one we're going to be taking a look at is the YouTube one. I'm going to show you how you can be able to bring in your video along with the sound from YouTube using the VMIS web browser into the VMIS software and also how you can be able to bring in your video from Facebook along with the sound using the vmis web browser into the vmis software go over to youtube and select any video at all now, i'm going to be doing this using one of the videos i have on my channel so just click on your channel here i don't want to get any copyright so i won't want to use any other video okay so i'm going to be doing this with one of this video let's select the second one now Remember, you don't need to play the video on YouTube. All you need is just the link of the video. Okay, so copy the link of the video. Just copy that. And once, once you already copy the link, minimize the browser. Okay. And once you're on VMIS, click on the add input button here. Click on the add input button and you're going to see the web browser. Now click on the web browser, paste the link that you've just copied from YouTube. Now, once you already paste this link here, make sure you change the width to 1920 and then the height to 1080 now 1080 that's 1080 and then the browser version you can select either the v77 or the v86 now if you select the v86 and it doesn't work for you select the v77 and it's going to work perfectly fine for you any one of these two that you select it should be able to work for you now let's select the v86 click on ok and also make sure that your pc is connected to the internet because it requires internet to be for you to be able to load the web page now if your pc is not connected to the internet it's not going to load the web page for you okay so make sure it's connected to the internet is very very important okay and it's currently loading and there you go you can see the video is currently playing so if i want to pause it just click on it on the preview button there so just click on it to play and pause you can see the way i'm playing around with it you can play and pause and you can even play the next video from there now let's keep this to the main video because i don't want any copyright let's pause this you can see how the video is playing and also has sound as well you can see the sound here let's just push it audience in audience to sing along whenever they're singing the hymn in your church but this new software i'm about to introduce to you is a game changer because it's 100 percent free so you can see there i've just paused it now if your internet is not strong your audio might be jerking okay so but if your internet is strong it should be able to work perfectly fine for you now if you use a v86 and your is still disturbing all you have to do is to copy the link of the video again double click on the browser click on change and go over to the url paste this use the 1920 by 1080 by 1080 and change the browser version to v77 now it requires a good internet just take note of that as well so let me go ahead and play this and your him all at the same time okay so in case you also use you display only scripture in your church and you don't use him or you don't display songs in your church you can go ahead and use the bible show i also left the video i did on that in the description below you go ahead and check it out and you can watch that as well but now this video is playing with the v77 and the previous video i played is v86 now if you compare the two sounds together you will notice that the v77 is better it has a better sound quality than the v86 now it might not be the same on your system but just try the two of them out and whichever works better for you you can also use that as well as you can see there you can if play you the video and this. pause the video and how about if you want to reload the web page or forward or backward all you have to do is to put your mouse on this place see this place put your mouse there right click and you're going to see the key uh, board enabled you see the go back go forward reload page property so you're going to see a lot of things and from here when you click on when you right click 
going to go over to properties you can be able to change the web page that's the video link and put any other video that you want to play as well okay so from here you can go back go front and then the keyboard enabled you can also do that as well and you can also disable the keyboard as well anything you want to do you can do that and from here you can be able to also play other videos as well that you want to play without leaving or having to reload the web page okay and this is how it works now how about if you want to crop this all you have to do is just double click on it double click and once you double click on it go over to position okay from position here you see the crop so let's just crop this crop out this side and crop out this side as well okay so crop out this side as well and crop out this one no, let's leave this side crop out this side and crop out this side and this is how the video is showing now on the screen let me just show you that so that you can also see it as well now as you can see if you look very closely on the screen you can see the shape of the video now it's actually very small now use the zoom here let me just push this up a little bit use the zoom here to make it large the pan x and pan y bring it down to the center just play around with this thing and this is it you can see push this one by the side this side just a little bit this side let's move it this side a little bit okay i think it's much here here and then bring it down just a little bit and you can see how the video is so i've been able to crop this video and from here you can see as it's playing now I can stream yeah, this. I'm about to introduce to you, okay? And some of the features I'm going to show you in this new software, which I think is going to blow your mind. You can see. If you bring in your video from YouTube and discover that it doesn't have a sound, all you have to do is to click on this mic button. Remember, it's very important. Make sure this mic button is clicked or mute okay so make it on mute don't mute it if you mute it it is not going to have any sound okay but if you unmute it it's going to bring in the sound from youtube down to vmix so that when you click on the audio button on vmix and you play the video and you'll be able to see you'll be able to hear it but if i mute this mic and play it on vmix you can see it has no sound now if you want to increase the quality just click on this setting here on vmix okay that's that on the video see the setting there click on it and from here i can be able to scale up the quality to anything i want to you see i've been able to scale up this quality and you can stream this video because it has sound embedded on it now how about facebook if you want to do the same thing to facebook all you have to do is to open your facebook let me just show you that as well open facebook and select any video at all that you want to play from Facebook. So it can be any video at all. Let's just go over to here. And let's see if we can get any video at all that we're going to be using for this. Okay. Let's say this is this is this is a church program now. This is it. Now, once you are here, click on this three dot line here. At least you know how to copy in the video URL from Facebook. Click on the copy link there. And once you already copy the link, minimize this tab. Okay. Now click on the add property again, the add input on vmins, see, go over to the add input on vmins, click on the web browser and set, paste the URL and make sure it's on 1920 by 1080, okay, 1080 and the browser version select v77, okay, because we discovered that v77 has a better sound quality than the v86, now select that and let's just give it a second for the web page to load, okay. Let's give it a second for it to load for us. You can see. Let's cancel that. We don't want to log in. And you can see the video is playing right there on VME. Now let's turn on the sound. You see the idea the, the sound, the mic button, they turn it on, and this is it to bring in the sound. You can see. So it just brought in the sound and this is it if you click on this mic button here to turn it off to turn it in to turn it off you can turn on the sound and turn it off now if you bring in the video and it doesn't have sound click on this mic button here on facebook so they can enable the mic okay and if i turn on the audio see the sound is working perfectly fine and you can pause it or either play it and how about if you want to crop this as well and stream it it's still the same process double click on it and go over to position from here just use the crop let me just expand this here 
use the crop okay so use this to crop it do it down crop it by the side and crop this side as well and crop the up as well you see now use this pan x bring it push it to the center here and if you want it to fold the screen it's only like for you to decide what you want to bring it down a little bit push it by the side here see push it back a little bit again okay you can see this is how it is let's push it the side and this is how it's going to look like you see that now once we play it this is how it's going to look like and we can stream this as well because it had sound on it okay so remember to use the use the v77 because it has a better sound quality you want to increase the quality of the facebook video all you have to do is to click on this setting here on the video click on it and from here you see the quality there now you can scale it up to any quality you want to all right you can select any quality you want to and as you're playing the video it will adapt to that quality okay now you can scale it higher more than the quality that the, the video is being uploaded on, on facebook if the video is on 480 you can scale it more than that if the video if video is on 720 it means it can only scale it up to 720 and if the video is 1080 it means when you click on this setting button here quality here you can be able to scale it all the way down to 10 it and you can stream it to different social media platforms so remember if you still want to control it just right click here place your mouse on it and right click and you see the keyboard go back go forward reload properties and from the properties you can be able to change the link of the video okay so you can also do the same for youtube right click go to properties and you can paste the link of the video to the facebook own and once you paste the link click on the update and that will update it for you now if you want to know how you can be able to do your streaming on vmix i've also done a couple of videos on that including how you can be able to stream on tiktok using vmix how you can be able to stream on twitter instagram facebook youtube just check the vmix playlist and you see all those videos there and you can watch them and learn how you can be able to set up your vmix live stream okay and also the best settings that you can use for your vmix live stream i've also done that video as well what the best settings that you can use if you're setting up your streaming using wi-fi if you're using router or whichever internet uh, network you're using or if you're setting up your stream using a dedicated pc what settings you should use i've also done a video on that as well okay so remember to check the vmix playlist you will also see all those videos and you can watch them to learn more on them